Hi chicas, welcome back to another makeup video. Today I bring you this super cute yellow and green look. I love it too much. So let's just get right into the makeup tutorial. Here I am using the Jock and Hill palette. If you are bored of me using this palette, please let me know down below. Honestly, I highly recommend this palette for starters. For anybody that just wants a palette that has every color, please get this palette. It is perfect for every season. That's why I use it all the time. So I'm so sorry if you guys are bored of this palette. Just let me know down below. Here, I just took a regular transition color. It is an orange one. I just took that and I went right into the dark color. I know, that is so bold. That is so crazy. But my tip and trick with this is honestly barely tap your brush into the dark color and just try to build it up into the crease because if you go straight into the color and put it on your eye, it is going to be much, much harder for you to blend out and always go one step back like you just saw right here. I took the color that I started with and now i'm using it to blend out the edges because you don't want it to look harsh or it just looks like you just put the color on your eye that is not the look that we're going for girls so always remember to blend out the edges here i am taking the mac nc30 concealer now you can use an nyx i really do recommend that one to cut your crease um or a foundation that's what i like to use i just don't like when concealers are too heavy and they kind of patch up once you put the eyeshadow i feel like the mac one is super good to do that like i mean not not to do that i mean not like it doesn't patch up what am i saying but it's just so good when you cut your crease because once you put the color on there, it stays and it does not crease. Trust me. Now, this yellow looks way darker in the camera, but look at it. It's like literally the sun on your eye. I love this yellow. Like the pigmentation is there, girls. Like this eye look is perfect for spring. I just want to start playing with colors bringing all the colors out because guess what winter was like one day and now we're into spring <laughs> well that's how it feels over here in california i don't know anywhere else so let me know how's the weather where you live but here in california it's like winter was one day it rained one day and we're back to spring so that's why I wanted to play with colors and be a little bit colorful. Here you saw that I took the teal. The teal did turn into green, but I think it's because I was mixing it with the yellow. So what you want to do is go back and forth with the teal and the yellow and kind of blend in the middle part. Um, you could add another color on there, but honestly, I love the way it looked. As you can see, I'm kind of blending out the edges. It looks super good in person honestly and in camera it looks excellent um it's just like a really really fun look to recreate if you guys ever wanted to challenge your guys yourself and just kind of make it better than me go ahead and do it that is what i like to do when i see other people's makeup tutorials i really like to make the look my own and also just kind of go crazy with it here i did want to add a little bit of more you know wow wow factor so i did go ahead and add some gold glitter i honestly once you go into glitter you cannot live without glitter chicas like glitter is everything so yes i went ahead and added glitter i did wear this look to work and i got compliments on it so you know what i'm saying if you're that extra bitch at work then work it because honestly this look is so beautiful so here i'm just applying it the glitter with a lip uh, brush that is what i use to apply my glitter then i'm going to take a little bit of the yellow and the teal from the jaglin hill palette and apply it on the lower lash line i try to not make my lower lash lines so like dramatic i just kind of want to put color under there to close off like the eye look um just because our eye on the top is so freaking dramatic already so i don't want to look like even more dramatic than i am you know what i'm saying so here i'm applying a little bit of mascara and oh my god you guys saw me use this yesterday but holy jesus christ with this glitter with this look it just looks so 
good and the light is not shining on it like i want to on my camera but in real life oh my god look at that look at that it's just i melted i melted when i saw my reflection like cold gold freaking highlighter under your brow it is amazing like it just melted so definitely try it let me know what you guys think and down below do you guys like these makeup tutorials where i go straight into the video or would you guys like me to do a proper intro a proper outro please let me know i love to hear you guys' opinions and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye